Open up our OF2 and same thing. We have a module and we have two screws. We'll pop our gray cover off, install our module, and then we will install our two screws. So installing the modules is as simple as that. So now let's go into Connected Components Workbench and configure them. So let's start with a new program and we'll just call this plugin. And then we're gonna open up controllers and we have a Micro 850 controller and we have a 2080 LC50 24 QBB. Select it and add to project. First thing, just like in all of our Micro 800 videos where we're creating new programs, let's go to Ethernet and let's configure it because if you download it, Without doing that, you'll set your PLC back to DHCP. So we're going to configure IP for 192.168.110 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. And then we're going to go down here to our plug-in modules. And we see three slots, which coincides with the three that we see here. So we're gonna click on the first slot where it says empty and we're just gonna right click it and then we're gonna select analog because this IF4 is a four point analog input. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and right click the next one down, analog, and we're gonna select the OF2. So it gives us our four analog in, our two analog out. And then let's look at the configuration of them. We're in the OF2, so let's have a look. We have channel zero and channel one and they're configurable for voltage or current and there's where you're going to do it so you'll just select the drop down here and if you want voltage you select voltage that would give you zero to ten volt or you can keep it at current and that's going to give you four to twenty milliamp and same thing up here on our if4 it defaults to current which is four to twenty milliamp or we can select here and we could switch it to voltage. So since this is a multi-channel card, let's go ahead and let's leave channel zero at current and let's make channel one voltage. Then same thing on our OF2, let's keep channel zero at current and let's make channel one voltage. Okay, so let's go ahead and download this program. And if you need any help downloading, or if I went too fast through creating a new program or you need help configuring your drivers, look down in the description. We all have a link where we have lessons for all of that. Okay, so it's done downloading. And also some of y'all are probably like, wait, we didn't put any code in our program. And that's okay. We can, we can learn a lot with a blank program. So let's go into the global variables. We've already been over the basic discrete inputs and outputs. So here are your discrete outputs that are on the bottom of the Micro 850. And then next we have the discrete inputs that are on the top of the Micro 850. But if we scroll on down, we're gonna see that we have some new ones now. First we have IOP1AI00. So up here it was IOEM, which is the embedded IO. Now we have IOP1, which is for plug-in module one, and then analog zero. And then we have one, two, and three, since this is a four point module. And then we have IOP2, and that's gonna be plug-in number two. We only have AOs, or analog outputs, and we have zero and one. So let's go ahead and see if we can simulate some signals to this. So in our program, we configured analog input number zero for current, and right there you see it, CI0. And that's gonna be terminal number two. And then we have common here. So we're going to put our analog simulator between CI0, we're actually going to make that the red post, and COM, that'll be our black post. Okay, so I have it wired in, and at 0 milliamp, we're showing roughly 110. So let's go ahead and bring that up to 4. Okay, at 4 milliamp, we're showing 13,096. So that is our four milliamp number. And if you want to know the actual number, it's actually 13,107. That is a low scale of our four to 20 milliamp signal. So let's bring it on up to 20 milliamps. And at 20 milliamps, we're showing 65,535. And that is the high scale value. So 
a 4 milliamp to 20 milliamp analog signal is going to be scaled from 13,107 to 65,535. Now hold tight because we're going to go ahead and do some scaling here to get that into some numbers that we understand. But let's go ahead and check out what our voltage is while we're here. So let's take our wire that we currently have on our CI0, which is the current input for input zero, and let's move it to V1-1, which is the voltage input for input one. Okay, now let's look down at analog input number one, and currently it's showing zero, and we are putting out zero volts. Let's go ahead and go up to one volt. All right, and now we're at about 65,545. And let's go ahead and go up to 10 volt. All right, and that puts us at 65,519. So the scaling on a voltage signal for the 2080 IF4 is going to be zero to 65,535. So that same range right there. So let's put some code in here. One, let's get some scaling on this. So let's scale it to something we can understand instead of the 13,107 to 65,535. And also let's make it where whatever we're seeing on the input ends up on the output. That way we can see it also. Let's go ahead and go offline. And then let's create a new program. And, and actually, let's, let's do it in both ladder and function block. So let's start with a new function block program. And go ahead and open it up. And bring an instruction box over. And start by typing SC. And down here, you're going to see the SCL. And we're also going to see the SCAL. And let's do the SCAL. That's going to be the scalar instruction. And let's go ahead and grab a variable and bring it down here. Now you're going to want for your input, you're going to want to put that analog input. But when we go over here to the IO tab, it's not an option. And if we cancel out of this, one thing I love about the CCW is that if you mouse over it, it tells you all the data types you need. And our inputs, actually all of them on this one, are real numbers. And if we go to our global variables and look down here, it's an unsigned integer. So we're going to need to do a data conversion. And this is something that the CCW software does really well. So we're going to grab an instruction block and bring it down, then type any. And this is going to bring up the any conversion instructions. And really what this will do is it'll take anything and convert it to almost anything else without a lot of pain. So we're going to want this any to real. And for our input, we're going to grab that variable again. And this time we go over here to the mic to the IO tab and analog input zero. And then we can drag that to the input. And so that'll do the conversion for us. So then we have our input minimum and our input maximum. We've configured analog zero for current. We're going to grab another variable. In fact, let's just go ahead and drag down variables for all these because we're going to need them. Or you could copy and paste if you prefer. And we'll go ahead and connect them. Now my function blocks will drive the OCD people crazy because yeah, I don't worry too much about lining them up. But so our input minimum is going to be 13107. Our input max is going to be 65535. Now, our output is going to be, what do we want to scale it to? Let's start by just scaling it 0 to 100%. So 0, 100. And then for our output, we'll grab a variable. We're going to create one, and we're going to call it analog in 0 scaled. And that will be a real. Let's 
select it, drag that. Oh, and I just called something, and I do this all the time. I type these numbers in 13107. Well, if you type 13,107, then it is going to interpret it as a double integer. And these are all calling for real. So let's hit that build button so we understand what's going to happen here. And down here, you can see those four numbers that I put in, it says expecting real type. So to fix that, all we're going to do is go back over here and we're going to edit that 13,107 to 13,107.0. And that's going to make it interpret it as a real number. So 0 .0, 0 0.0, and 100.0. And so now when we hit that build button, it's going to build just fine. So let's go ahead and do the second one in a ladder program. So add ladder program and we'll open it up and we'll bring an instruction block down. And again, let's just type SC and all right, there it is, scale. And for our input, we're going to have the same problem is it's going to want a real and we don't have a real. So we're going to need to do that conversion. So let's bring down another instruction block. And this time we will type any two and real. And our input is going to be analog input number one. And for our output, we're going to have to create a variable. So we're just going to call this analog in one real. And that will be a real type. So we'll select it. So then that same number is now the input of this instruction. And then our input minimum, in the case of 0 to 10 volt, it is 0, 0.0. Our input maximum is going to be 65, 535.0. And again, let's just go 0 to 100%. And then for our output, we'll need to create one. Let's call this our analog in one scaled, and it will be a real. All right, now let's go ahead and download this program, or should we, no, let's go ahead and add something for the outputs too. Let's go ahead and just use a move instruction. So let's add another wrong. And add an instruction block. And we're going to use a move instruction. Let's move analog input number one to analog output number one. And then let's pop back into our function block and do the same thing. So we'll add an instruction block and we'll use a move and bring down a couple of variables. This one will be analog zero and bring down another variable. And this will be analog output zero. So what that's going to do is whatever we're putting in on analog input zero is going to go out on analog output zero. Whatever we're putting in on analog input one will go out on analog output one. So let's go ahead and download that program. Okay, so we're still on our voltage input, which is input one. So let's go to our ladder program where we have it. Okay, right now it is saying our analog scaled zero and our voltage input is zero. So let's put a voltage source out and well, let's start at point one. Okay, and it's showing roughly 1% of full scale, which yeah, point 0.1 volt on a scale of zero to 10 would be 1%. If we bring it up to one volt, yeah, we're showing right at 10%. And if we bring it on up to 10 volt, then yeah, we're showing 99.96%, which is pretty close to 100%. So then we have the output here. Now I don't have anything to measure the output current. So let's add a few more wires to our trainer. So let's go, first let's take a wire from the analog common 
on our OF2, and let's connect it to the zero volt of our trainer. We made the voltage one number one, so let's go to V0-1, and let's connect it to our left analog terminal, because that is our voltage input on our display up here. Then let's connect a wire from the third terminal on our analog blocks to our zero volt. Then from our C0-1, which is the current of input zero, to our middle analog terminal. Now we're gonna figure out who actually follows these instructions all the way to the end of the video, because if you did yours just like mine, then your analog outputs are not working, because I forgot to tell you to enable them. So if we go offline, and then we go down to those plug-in modules, if you open up the 2080 OF2 and click configuration, the output is disabled. So we need to select enabled on that one and select enabled on that one. All right, and now we are ready to download that. Okay, so now let's test our analog output. So our analog simulator, currently I have connected to the CI0, which is our current input, zero. Now if we flip this around, all right, so let's run it up. And yeah, okay, our analog is going up right along with it. We can run it all the way up to 20. And yes, that works. So now, let's check our voltage input. So I'm going to move the red post wire from the CI0 to the V11, which will be analog 1 voltage. And we'll take it to voltage source. All right, and yeah, point 0.1, bring it up, 1 volt. Yeah, so it's following right along with it. Bring it on up to 10. Yep, and then 10.0, we're showing 10.0 here. 